Hare Krishna, dear devotees and friends. This is the time for Arati here in Kathmandu, where the deity of Buddha Nilakanta is lying down. This is lying Vishnu. And this is the time where the Lord gets his Arctic at 6.30 in the evening. Uh, we were having an interview with uh, local Pujaris, but uh, telephones are not allowed inside uh, the Mandir, inside uh, where is the DT, it's not allowed. But we were talking with the main Pujari, as you can see here. His name is Mohan. He has 14 years and he is studying um, or Shastras. Uh, when his time uh, finish, when he will have 16 years, uh, then he cannot make any more puja for Lord Buddha Nikanta. But it's very interesting how he uh, his desire is to continue studying the, the Puranas, the Shastras, the Vedas. He, he told me that he decided to go to Vrindavan and, and study the Shastras more deeply. So as you can see, uh, we have an interview with these, these three Pujaris. They are 14 years old. This is Mohan and the other is Abhishek. They are making service the whole day until 6.30 in the evening, until 6.45 in the evening. So this is very, very special mood of, the, of this deity, especially uh, I really like so much to come to this temple to take darshan of Lord Buddha Nikanta. I'll tell you why, uh, because the mood of this deity is very special. He has uh, different moods. He's worshipped like Lord uh, Narayan. He's worshipped like Lord Vishnu, he's worshipped like Lord Buddha, and he's worshipped like Lord Vishnu, like I say, but also worshipped like Lord Shiva and like Krishna. Uh, I explain you why, according to the words of the uh, Pujaris, the, the main Pujaris, they were explaining uh, different parts of the body of Lord Buddha Nikanta. As you can see, his lotus feet, well, my camera is little, not so good quality, but uh, his lotus feet are in the, uh, in the form like Krishna lotus feet, cross, like playing the flute. And he have three weapons, okay, like Lord Vishnu, eh? but uh, in his uh, right hand, he have ashes, like Lord Shiva. So he don't have four weapons like Vishnu, but three weapons like Vishnu. And in her right hand, the fourth, is not a weapon, but he's holding ashes like Lord Shiva, right? So both two of his arms are like Shiva because they have sarpa, they have uh, snakes around. So that's the form like Shiva. And his chest is like Ram, like Lord Ramachandra. And his face is just a face like Vishnu. You can see the color is a little lighter because of the ghee they apply daily. They only apply ghee on the face because if they go, will apply ghee all over his body, the pujaris will be falling down all the time. Uh, they will, they could have an accident. So they only applying ghee on his face. That's why the color is a little lighter. And the form of, of his head is like Vishnu. Now you cannot see. No, sorry. It's like Lord Shiva. Uh, now you cannot see because uh, he have, he's wearing a coron. But in the morning arati, tomorrow we will come and we will show you uh, the form of, of his head. It's like Lord Shiva. So that is so amazing mood about this deity here in Nepal, in Kathmandu, uh, in, in this temple of Lord Buddha Nilakanta. Uh, on his head, he have 108 Shalagram Shilas, but he himself is a Shalagram Shila. 
this deity is from the time of Dwarapa Yuga and is self-manifested deity. It is uh, a Shalagram Shila in the form of Lord Vishnu. And what is so amazing for me is the mood, what I was telling you, because all different kinds of devotees are uh, gathering here and that's what I love it. Here is coming, I saw during the darshan, um, there were devotees, uh, she, uh, worship, uh, Shivaistas, Shivaistas, devotees who worship Lord Shiva, devotees who worship Narayan, devotees uh, who worship Buddha, uh, all different kinds of devotees are united here by this deity which have all different forms like I already mentioned. That is the most interesting aspect about this deity for me uh, on the mood of the different kinds of devotees coming to worship him. Buddhists, Shivaists, Vaishnavas, all different kinds of devotees coming here. So that is the thing that I love the most about this temple because it's not uh, Everybody is welcome here and we all see uh, God has won in this form of Lord Buddha Nikanta here in Nepal in Kathmandu. Aratik finish at 6.45 and then the temple then is closed after that. And so. Yeah, I was observing the deity from, from close because we stay, we like to chant our japa in front of this deity. It's so amazing the model here. Uh, it, if you go to South India, for example, you cannot take such a long darshas of uh, Ranganath Swami or Tirupati like that. But in this temple, uh, Lord Vishnu is very merciful. I mean, in every temple. But but here, the, you can take long darshan. At least us, we can take lo, lo, long darshan. And you can see very nicely Ananta Shesh, how it's very nicely uh, naturally carved. Uh, Ananta Shesh is so beautiful, uh, if you can see from close. So beautiful, it's really, really amazing when you see from close. I cannot show you from here, so close. But if you have the opportunity at least to come once in your life, once in your life, you should take advantage and come to take the action of Lord Buddha Nikanta, which is very merciful, and you can worship him in all these forms like Shiva, like Buddha, like Vishnu, like Narayan, like Krishna. It's all forms united here in this amazing body of Buddha Nikanta, like in Vishnu. The Arctic is finished now and I can see Baladev in the other side of the temple. He, he went there because from that side of the temple you can see very nice Anka Chakra. Very beautiful from that side you can see better. As I told you, we are recording uh, from far away, from the because the telephones are not allowed inside the temple. But I, I hope you, you have a, a pleasant darshan of the Lord, and He may shower towards you all His blessings.
Hare Krishna everybody. This will be it for now. Until the next time. Hare Krishna.